guys and as usual welcome to another kit review so as you can see today we're having a look at a kit from Tamiya 135th scale it is Tamiya's Sversworth Garat 41 Hurland Coup I hope I pronounced that properly my German's a bit rusty basically is the Sversworth Garat is the framework firing these particular rockets Hurland Coup I hope that's right it probably isn't means howling cow uh, nickname from the sound that these made as they fired into everywhere now these particular rockets you do get in this kit 28 centimeter which is your explosive and the 32 centimeter which is your incendiary rockets they could be fired just from the crates themselves um, they had fold out legs which you could just roughly angle at the right degree and fire them from there so you do also get by the way the two crew members loading the rockets onto the frame this particular kit is 35155 and came out in 1992 cost me around 14 dollars australia average price is 25 to 30 dollars when they're available all right so let's have a look at the rest of the box on the side a few of the regular kits that are available as you can see there is a half track with these rockets as well on the other side it does actually show you how they were mounted on the standard sdkfz 251s and on the back really nice example of the rockets themselves so it does give you cross sections of what was actually in the rocket the heads were basically the explosive 32 centimeter incendiary and the 28 centimeter high explosive so let's have a look and see what's in the box there you have it get the instructions out and not much else so instructions one bag of two sprues all right so let's have a look at the instructions so the instructions very very simple instructions does give you in Japanese, German, English and French a brief history of the whole setup, the rockets etc and the framework overleaf Tamiya paint callouts of course, it's a Tamiya kit here you're just constructing the carrying launching crate for the rockets then you've got your rockets, you've got your 28cm and your 32cm and you do get decals for the rockets themselves shows you how the rockets go in the in the crates there are a couple of adjustments to be made uh, once they're in just to snip a couple of bits off the rest of the frame this is your main frame section and then you've just got your figures going together and color call outs for your figures so a nice easy kit a simple one to build on the other side it just shows you how to display you've got the guys struggling with one of the rockets and these were quite heavy these things so they would have been a definitely a two-man job and how they sit on the frame and that's your instructions so let's have a look at the decals so the decals are only for the rockets and I'll see if I can get them close enough so they'll focus these are just for the heads of the rockets and as you can see these were printed in 1992 but um, they shouldn't be too bad I think they'll be okay once I come to actually putting them on the rockets oh, anyway I'll give you a close-up of those and in a second we will have a look at the actual sprues so let's have a look at the sprues and the first one out we'll look at is this this is your main framework as you can see 
this is one of the crates for the rockets you do get feet the feet were adjustable so you could alter the angle of the frame to get the right distance but fairly straightforward build for this one not too much to it but quite nicely done And the other sprue in this kit is, of course, more of the transport firing crates, the actual rockets themselves, and your crew figures. So, like I said, you do get the 32 centimeter incendiary and the 28 centimeter high explosive. So the high explosive, um, which is these ones, the 28 centimeter, they weighed 82 kilos. And that's why two men needed to carry that 82 kilos and the incendiary one carried 50 liters of um, incendiary oil which could cover around 200 square meters of ground which is quite a large area uh, covered with incendiary material so that would not have been fun to be on the receiving end of that one so let's have a look as you can see by this guy's face, he is definitely struggling with the weight. And so is this guy. So both of them are struggling with the weight of this. 82 kilos is a lot to carry, even for two guys in that kind of awkward situation. But I do like the detail. Really nice detail. Yes, they have got short sleeves and caps. They're not wearing helmets or anything like this. So very simple painting for these guys. Those are your 28 centimeters, and that is your 32 centimeter rocket, plus the frames, of course. So, mostly 28 centimeter that you get in this kit, and one 32. All right, so I'll give you some shots of this one. And that's it guys, only two sprues in this particular kit, that is Tamir's 135th scale Schwer's Werfgerat 41, came out in 1992, and kit number is 35155, it is still available, I have seen it around, you can still get this kit, and it is a nice little kit to put together very easy weekend build i'd say you probably spend more time painting the crew figures than you will the actual um, rockets and framework themselves anyway as i said that brings us to the end of this review thank you for watching as usual thank you for your likes your comments and your subscriptions they are really appreciated and also as usual until next time take it easy stay safe and I will see you later.